Hey, what's going on everybody? Paul Tech here and in today's video we're going to be focusing on Gboard. I'm going to jump to the Google Play Store and you can see it right there. So um, this is basically an updated version to your Google keyboard. So I'm going to kind of walk you through this and show you, you know, some features regarding Gboard now. So let me go ahead and exit out of there. Let's go ahead and jump into Gboard settings here. So you got an option up on top for uh, languages. So you got a variety of different languages to choose from. And then let's go ahead and go into preferences. And with preferences there, you got number row options, show emoji switch key, uh, voice input key, one-handed mode, keyboard height, uh, sound on key press, uh, variety of options there. And theme, so this is pretty neat. You can actually customize your keyboard theme. So they do have some pre-made ones like this red one, a green one, uh, other colors they have here, a pink one. So they do have those as well, but there's also an option for your own image. So if you wanna choose your own image, you can go ahead and do that uh, in gallery, go into wallpapers, and then you can just basically, you know, choose whichever image you want, uh, pinch the scale, drag to move, click next. Then you can actually adjust brightness there as well. And then all you gotta do is uh, click done and then you have basically your own keyboard theme there. So that's a pretty neat option you have. And then uh, you got text correction there. So you got block offensive words, personalized suggestions, auto corrections, auto capitalization, and then uh, glide typing. So you got the, if you wanted that gesture trail to be shown or disabled, you have that as well. And then uh, let's go into dictionary there. So. Uh, sync learned words, delete learned words, you have that option as well. Search. So you got predictive search option, or you can also have the show the G button, which is basically your Google search on your keyboard there. So I'll show you a little bit about that in just a moment. And then you got your advanced option there as well. So you got those options. So let's go ahead and exit out of there. Let's go into the messaging application now. So as you can see there, that's the uh, keyboard theme that I had chosen. And let me just go ahead and show you on this device here how the messaging application, you know, looks. So if you're thinking about updating it, you know, you can customize it to look like this. And, and this is basically without up, updating this keyboard here. So let's go ahead and just kind of go into the emojis. Uh, what I want to show you here is on both of these devices, the way the emojis look. So they do look different as you can see there. Um, they look a lot brighter more vibrant on this device here on the updated Google keyboard, the way they look. Uh, then another thing here with these gestures, so for instance, like this thumbs up one, you can press on it and it just gives you that one option. If you hold down, nothing happens, as you can see there. Now with this one here, let me go ahead and find that thumbs up gesture and I'll show you real quick. All right, so there's the thumbs up gesture. So if you hold on it now, you get these other options that appear. So that is a pretty neat feature and it works with all these just these hand gesture ones. Now, for instance, if you click on the family, nothing happens. You, just, you can hold down on it and nothing. But uh, with these ones here, you get those different options that appear if you uh, long press on those emojis. So uh, that's pretty neat. And then you also have an option here uh, to search for emojis. So for instance, if you want to search for like flags, you can type that in and then those certain emojis will appear as well. So you got that option there. Let's go ahead and exit out of there. All right. And then uh, up here is your Google search bar now or your Google search. You have that so you can press on that. So for instance, if you're going to Disneyland and you want to get the address or the time, um, you just type in Disneyland. And then you get this option that appears. So you get like news, rides, address. So in your text message, if you want to, you know, get the address of Disneyland or whatever destination you're going to, you just click on that, click share. And then now that information will appear on your text message. So that is excellent. I love that feature. Okay, so you get some more features here. So pressing on the Google search option, it's going to pop up this here for your keyboard themes. So you have that just like quick access to your keyboard themes. And then also for one handed operation. So you can get one handed uh, operation just like that. So it's pretty neat. And then you can also expand it up to the full view. Quick access to settings there as well. And then you have your Google search option just right there as well. So that's pretty neat. I really like that. 
that you have here. And uh, another thing you have here on the bottom, let me see if you can see that there. So you also have an op option for GIF. So you have that as well. Um, and so for me, it's not giving me, you know, the option to use it, but it is there. So you do have that option as well in the messaging application. So yeah, that's basically it. I just wanted to make a quick video just kind of showing you this uh, Gboard here. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this, hit that thumbs up button. And once again, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And I'll talk to you on the next one. Bye.